Money Day, ladies and gentlemen, you're here with your host, Pastor Pips. I'm bringing you this week's market outlook. Now, I know you guys can't really see me all that well, but check out the view. Right, so we're at Lit Capital HQ. And with that being said, let's just get straight into today's video. So as we always do, we're always going to start off with the economic calendar. Let's take a look at what we have ahead of this week. So all the high impact news for Monday is pretty much done, which is OK. We'll go from Tuesday forward. So we do have RBA meeting minutes, retail sales for the dollar, um, followed by consumer price index for the CAD a little bit later on. Wednesday, we have consumer price index for the New Zealand dollar. Consumer price index and core consumer price index for the pound, so CPI pretty much. Thursday, we've got unemployment change and employment change for the Australian dollar. Last but not least, Friday, we have retail sales for the pound. So just looking at this from a glance, guys, it looks like it is going to be quite a nice week. Um, you know, there's not a lot of main dollar moves except for Tuesday but it looks like from Tuesday onwards we might get the market the ball rolling in the market a little bit better so yeah Monday might be a little bit slower uh, but from looking at this Tuesday should get a little bit better now with that being said guys don't forget to check out www.litcapital.co.uk and follow our live trades uh, send us an email at support at Lit Capital if you'd like to find out more about our services and what we have to offer. That is completely A-OK. -okay. Cool. Let's go straight over to the charts and let's have a look at what we have ahead. So at the moment, guys, OK, uh, we did get a very, very big move happening uh, last week pretty much across the whole board, which is absolutely fine. Beautiful move. Price played out very, very well. So first things first, I'm going to start for the dollar. Now, the dollar, of course, in terms of last month and this month so far, has been bearish and we have been coming down quite strong. Now, with that being said, if I do come back down to the weekly time frame, there is an area where I do believe that price may potentially want to give us a potential lower high or a potential higher high to break this weekly high here. We just have to see how things pan out. So I am looking at price to drop down into this candle area here. So the price point that I have marked out here is 99.295, okay? Um, now, realistically, if I do head down to the daily, you can see the area that I am targeting a little bit better, okay? Realistically, I want to see how price trades inside of this weekly candle. Do we push to around 50% or do we come back down to this daily candle here? Um, this push down did, of course, take out the lows that were sitting beneath here before, of course, we started to rally up higher. So I would like to see exactly what price wants to do here. Now, the target to the upside in terms of a potential turnaround, maybe we get a lower high, would have to sit inside of these two weekly candles here. I want to see how we trade once we do get back up into these areas. Now, will we get this far high at the moment? I cannot say. Okay, There's not enough information at the moment to tell me that, hey, prices, um, you know, is going to reach all the way to 101.940. OK, there's always the potential of that happening, of course. However, that doesn't mean it's always going to be the case. So. Let's head down to the daily time frame and the four hour time frame. Uh, there are a few areas, okay? This four hour candle is sitting inside of this whole weekly up candle, as I just showed you guys a second ago. So we could get a potential play out there. Of course, there's other minor areas such as here and here, and also here on the one hour, okay? And also here on the one hour, uh, which of course can play a bit of a factor in what price is going to do. But at the moment, there's nothing really concrete, guys, to work with. So we kind of just got to let the market play out for today, see what's available uh, moving Tuesday onwards. Let's head over to gold. So I know a lot of you guys are quite interested in gold and love trading gold, which is amazing. Um, at the moment, gold is on the up. Okay, We can see that price action has been very bullish especially when we look at things from the monthly perspective, you know, we've had the high low, made a high high, you know, we could potentially be in a higher low um, phase in order to make that new high high. So we'll just have to see how that of course plays out. 
Now, coming down to the weekly, we can see price has in fact pulled down. There is a weekly target I do have above here, which is the imbalance, okay, which is starts at the head of this candle, which was 1985.390, okay? Now, will we get up there this week? That's a whole nother question. We might not necessarily get up there this week. However, that is a target that I am looking out for to see if we can get up there. Now, at the moment, we do have a lot of liquidity sitting above these highs, okay? And of course, these highs up here as well. So these areas are due to get swept. I would love to see them be swept, okay? I wanna see price continue higher from this area here. Um, if we do take a look at the daily time frame, we can see we had uh, the low, 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 high, low, low, high, high, okay? So we had a break in market structure there on the daily. Uh, price pulled down to give us a new high, low, and you know, consequently giving us a new high, high. So at the moment, uh, the area that I am looking out for is this daily imbalance in here. I want to see how price um, works inside of this area, okay? Uh, realistically, I don't want to see the market push beneath Tuesday slash Wednesday's low because um, then that would have to, or it would change my understanding to believe in that, okay, cool, price is trying to head to somewhere else. So I don't really want to see market trades beneath Wednesday's low, ideally, um, but of course, we'll have to take a look at how price, of course, works inside the area. Now, if I do come down to the six hour slash four hour, you can see this eye candle here where I would like to see if price can, in fact, give us a bit of a bearish price action, tap into this area and, of course, pushing on. Now, market doesn't necessarily have to come to this selected candle here. It can work inside of the daily imbalance and then push off. But it's good to have points of interest, areas where you look for price to give you certain things. So once we get down into this area, maybe we get a break of structure on maybe the 15 minute or the one hour or the, even the five minute in order for us to take some longs going higher. Um, one thing I would say is, of course, remember all the highs that sit into the left here. Um, these are quite good targets. And even the more recent uh, equal high that price is currently formed right here. So let's just see how the market plays out for today. Let's see how it forms. Uh, let's see what price wants to do exactly because, you know, we can push through this area and have a much deeper retracement, you know, because if we do look at the FIB from the most recent low to the most recent high, 50% is sitting beneath uh, Wednesday's low okay so we can actually get down lower into discount prices before the market wants to head up higher but it's still important for you guys to to have different point of interest and to anticipate certain things happening inside the market let's move over to the euro so with the euro dollar okay is pretty much the mirror of the dxy However, there is some slight differences between the two, okay? So we had quite a huge, huge move last week in terms of this push-up. You can see very strong engulfing candle. Um, of course, that was due to the liquidity sitting above the highs, okay? So we made a new weekly higher high. We also grabbed the liquidity sitting beneath here, or sorry, above here, shall I say. Now, what's really screaming out to me is, of course, this gap here in the market. So I want to anticipate if, Price wants to fill this area and close it off completely. And what happens after that? Okay. Does the market react from closing off this gap or does it continue to trade up a little bit higher? If it does, that's okay. We'll just have to, of course, monitor things as they play out. We also do have this weekly up candle here, this weekly lit block here. Now, I want to see if we do, in fact, you know, 50% is sitting around slightly above the gap there. So market might or price might want to draw up higher. And I want to see if we do reject off of this area here. Maybe we get a break of structure on the full hour or daily or one hour or something along those lines uh, where we can potentially come back down to this weekly area here. So I would like to see market tap this weekly candle here uh, to potentially head up higher as well. OK, if not, do we get a break of structure to the downside and then we start trending down lower again? We'll just have to see as things play out. But for the time being, we are still bullish on Euro USD, and Euro USD is bullish. You can see it right in front of you right now. So let's just take our time. It is still early days in the week. We don't need to rush anything. Everything will uh, play out a lot better during the 
later stages of the week. So uh, pound dollar cable, uh, looking at this from the monthly perspective. Now we can see we do have a monthly imbalance here with a monthly up candle there. Now prices, of course, has also been very bullish, uh, just like the, with the euro. You know, we had a very strong bullish engulfing candle on the weekly. Now, this is the area that really screams out to me in terms of a higher time frame perspective. You know, we, we've come down from making all time lows or 40 year lows, okay, since in 1985, and we've recovered, okay? Even though there was a lot of peril in the streets, <laughs> everyone thought it was all over, but we've recovered, okay? We are still pushing up higher, um, but for how long? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Now, similar to Euro USD, we do have a gap here in the market, okay? Uh, followed by that monthly imbalance and that whole monthly up candle. Now, I want to see price draw realistically towards this weekly gap, OK, I want to see price close this area off. I want to see how we trade inside this area. OK, now I wouldn't be surprised if we start to get some pullbacks from price tapping either of these areas. But remember, we just got to wait, see how the daily looks, the four hour looks, the one hour look. Do we break structure? Does price, you know, give signatures that it's about to turn around? Um, until then, we've just got to take our time and take it, you know, one day at a time as it comes and as the picture is printed uh, for us. So for the pound, uh, we do have areas that's a lot lower in comparison to the euro dollar. The euro dollar didn't really have lower areas. So for example, this area here on the full hour, um, of course, we do have other areas that are sitting a lot closer at the moment in price where we can actually get prices reacting from. However, this area is screaming towards me at the moment uh, to potentially see some continuations from. Um, those are the main areas that I do want you guys to keep your eyes peeled out for. Um, guys, of course, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It really helps us out a lot. Gets this content out to other people who will value this. And guys, you're the vibes. It's lit side. It's been your host, Pastor Pips. And remember, every day is money day. Peace.